Hello doll friends, this is Michael Canadas with the Grovian Doll Museum at Carmel Doll Shop. Um, we are doing World Doll Day celebration and we thought we would take a little trip to the Netherlands. Um, one of the treasures of the Grovian Doll Museum is Princess Wilhelmina. Uh, we have done videos with her before, but that was back in the olden days with rickety cameras and we thought, why not share this treasure again? So I wanna introduce you to Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina has a very interesting story. Um, many years ago, in a private sale, the Dutch royal family sold Wilhelmina. And uh, the uh, auction house that arranged the private sale um, uh, had her sold to Richard Wright, the famous Richard Wright of the antique road shows. And it really was the perfect place for Wilhelmina to go because she'd had a little bit of um, a rough life and Richard had happened to have one of the finest uh, restoration conservation people in the world. So um, that's where Wilhelmina went. Now that was supposed to be a private sale, not for public um, consumption, but I never signed a disclosure, so I can tell you that. Uh, when Richard Wright passed, um, his dolls went up to auction, and it was a, really a bad time for us here at the Carmel Doll Shop and Grovian Doll Museum, and we didn't have a chance at Wilhelmina. But sometimes things come around, and we were doing a convention, and lo and behold, Wilhelmina was unwrapped, and we got a second chance at her. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, we would call Wilhelmina a continental wooden, meaning she could be made in on the continent, could be Germany, uh, Austria, Italy. It, you would just be guessing to say where she was for sure. But one thing I can tell you for sure is it had to be someplace with a lot of wood because this is a very big doll. As a matter of fact, I forget how tall she is. So we're gonna measure her, just so you see how large she is. Now let's make sure she's standing straight, which she is. So from her comb, we could easily say 40 inches. So this is a very large, doll and was really meant for, uh, had to be for a, a princess to have the room. And this is another interesting feature. She's a little squeaky, but she still has a swivel waist. Um, the head is amazing. The carving, uh, I've seen this carving on other woodens with these little chip marks that give it the illusion of curls. But here is a wonderful feature that she has. This is a removable comb. So it would go right in there. And she may have had a whole set of these. Um, and it has kind of the typical feet, fashionable flat feet and slippers that you'd see on what we would call a milliner's model. I think she's very early in the 19th century. But what I love about her is her amazing face and her profile, which is spectacular, and her protruding ears. Now, those of you that are out there that worry about Barbie and how her figure um, could cause people to have body issues. I want you to realize that Wilhelmina's neck is thicker than her waist, and her legs are almost twice as long as her torso. So that was just to be to wear her clothes that were very stylish, the high empire. Now, I don't believe that these are her original clothes. I think she had clothes that were styled much earlier than this and she probably didn't come with any at all. I think that the clothes were the preference of Richard Wright. I can really see that this would be something that he would personally like. Um, 
Now the thing about dolls like these, and I knew it the second time we had the chance with her, these are onesies. So if you have an opportunity and you're lucky enough to have it, you have to snatch it because there aren't any others like it. So I'm, I'm glad that um, Wilhelmina has been with you today on World Doll Day. And um, normally if you would come here for an event, the room in, that we're in here, uh, this is where we have uh, meals and usually Wilhelmina um, stands over the whole room. And occasionally, you never know, sometimes she just jumps off of her stand. She's done that a time or two. Just like today, she's not really wanting to sit. But I, I think that when you think about how much wood it took to make this, because this is really solid wood with a very thin coat of gesso, and you can see that here. You can see where the paint is chipped off and there's just a very slight coat of gesso. And then underneath that, this is wood. So it really is a, uh, a wooden marvel. Anyways, friends, we will see you later. Bye-bye.